Hey you guys, it's me, Cliche with clichebee.com, aka TV Nose Curls. Um, and so I am back with another video. Those of you guys who are new to my channel, I bring you everything from my personal life, my business life, and everything in between. So I try to share my life with you guys, whatever tips I can show you as a freelancer, as a mom, as a natural hair lover. Um, I want to be able to give you that content and those types of videos on my channel. So I'm a mother who does it all. Hey, <laughs> so if you like videos like these where I show you how just little tips and tricks, go press the like button, hit the subscribe button, as well as hit the notification bell so you can see when I post my next video. Um, so this video for this week, um, I wanted to share a little bit of Canva. So I talk about Canva a lot on my freelance website on clichebee.com as well as on my Instagram personal page and my Instagram um, business page, which is cliche B. Um, and if you don't follow me on those already, go follow me on Instagram as TG Knows Curls, as well as go follow me on my business Instagram page at cliche B. Um, I'm very active on my TG Knows Curls page where I still share tips um, that kind of coincide with. What? Where's my baby? Where I share tips about um, just different things of, that I do um, for social media. Sorry, my daughter walked in, you know, as a mom. And I don't, and one thing about my videos, and I don't edit anything out. But anytime I, I am working on Canva, um, or I have a new program that I, or a program that I use that I thoroughly love, I like to share with you guys because a lot of people don't know about the features, especially if you're not in it consistently like I am. I'm in it all the time. I'm researching new ways to use Canva. YouTube has a multitude of videos on different things that Canva can do. But anyways, let's get into this video. Um, so one of the new things that has come out is that Canva has started a, um, they have a content planner. So if you're one who wants to plan content, this is a wonderful platform for you to use. And I'll show you just a little bit of how it's used. Obviously, it adds the calendar, very basic nothing crazy with it um but it has the calendar you can schedule something to post today tomorrow whatever the case be let's just choose um the let's see let's choose the first okay um let's choose a design that we already have um i have plenty of designs on here um and we'll just use sweet this is why i'm going to show you a little tip about in a little bit um, a little trick with this. Um, so yeah, so anyways, you have an option to, let's say you pick the wrong date, you can change the date and time. You can also edit your design within this, um, or make a copy, whatever the case may be. You can choose where you want to schedule your posts. You see it's LinkedIn to one of them or LinkedIn to one of your, um, social media sites that you prefer to post on. Or you can, all the other ones, have Twitter, Facebook, Facebook groups, Pinterest, like I said, the LinkedIn page, Slack, and Tumblr. I'm assuming Instagram is not on here, maybe because they do not have contract with Instagram to do automatic posting, um, and which is pretty understandable. Um, I know a lot of thing, um, a lot of platforms are taking that away um, where they do not automatically post to Instagram, whatever contract they have with them. So hopefully Canva will be able to have that option. I don't know if they're in the works of it. Um, I have to do my research, research on it, but hopefully they're one of the people who um, is going to be able to automatically post on Instagram. But anyways, you'll choose what platform you want to use. And then, like I said, you can put your caption, your hashtag, and then schedule to post, right? I'm just gonna click something. Let's see what happens. I don't want it to post. Let's just change date and time. Let's just say Friday. 
does oh excuse me um schedule post let's see what pops up so you'll have to um we can schedule through that account please try connecting your game and scheduling someone else so you will have to um connect your accounts that you have in order to automatically post to your social media accounts so it's an amazing option um like i said i'm not going to use it for my, i've done it on a client's camera but not on mine particularly so as you can see, mine's blank, but I'm thinking about using it. I don't know because I do use other platforms such as Planoly for my scheduling and my posting only because I'm very familiar with them. Canva's really new with the content planner and um, I just really like the aspect of Planoly because it it has the best times to post. That's for another totally different video, not Canva. <laughs> But anyways, it has us here, so it's definitely very neat to plan out if this is something you want to do um, and use in the future. So that is an awesome idea. Another thing I wanted to show you guys, um, which some people don't know, is how I created this. So you can make little videos or little um little videos like this and kind of like edit this picture let me see if i can go back to the beginning of how i started this before i don't know how back i can go but anyway let's just start over so we're just going to i'm gonna leave sweet there um if you wanted to add it the background of a picture which I, I don't i'm not sure if this is on the free version but it's definitely on the paid version that i have And we're going to use a baby llama as my text subject. And um, what it does is you can blink out all this background that you see right here. And I am going to do it for this just to show you that it can be done. Because a lot of people don't have Adobe Photoshop and you're like, I don't know how to light out this background. Um, it does an awesome job, which I'll actually show you on this picture um it will not um black out the books i i'm not sure because it thinks it's part of the body of baby girl or what the case may be but it does give you the option you just go to effects and then you click background remover and then it does its little magic and let's see what it blanks out this time um let's see hopefully it blanks out my feet because i don't want them to show um with my connection let's see it's acting crazy let's see So I'm going to start over since I'm not sure if I can guys, everybody working on that tonight. Um, so let's start over with a totally new design. I'm going to leave it blank like this. I'm going to bring in that picture of my baby girl. Let me go. So you want to edit this picture and you want to blink out all this background, right? And you don't have Adobe, so let's blink it out. Let's, let's do a background remover. And so this would be perfect for those of you who want to do products. Um, so if you're uh, promoting a product, selling product, something like this. Out. There we go. Yay. So it blinked out every fucking crazy. No, it doesn't. Okay, perfect. So there goes baby girl. Now the whole background, like I told you, it was probably gonna be the books just because I think it thinks that's part of the baby girl, but that's fine. Um, let's add a background. Let's see, the recent one I had was the donut one. So we got baby girl and the donut. And we'll just 
And then let's just add some text on here. Add the sweet on here. The middle of the girl is sweet. So the one feature that I wanted to show you guys is that you can make animate this. Say for instance, whatever you want to use this for, if you like animated stuff on your Instagram, whatever the case may be, or if you want to make an ad for a product, you can do anime. My favorite scrapbook because she just comes from the bottom. It's so cute. Um, but you do have that option um, for this. You can resize this, see if you want to use it for YouTube. Um, so let's copy and resize it. Keep the original one that you're working on here. And it will resize and reformat to be the size of for YouTube. So if you need to make the picture bigger, what case may be, um, you can. And it still will do the same animation type of thing. So it's pretty dope, pretty amazing. Um, I love all the um, things that Canva has going with it. Um, there's so many new things, so many, new, so many new, um, little elements that they have here. There's a lot of things that I use here, especially for my YouTube that I use for like my animated video, like the subscribe, like subscribe to my channel type of thing. Um, the notification bell. I kind of use everything from Canva, honestly, for everything that I use. So this is why I kind of. I'm really loving Canva and all the things that you can do with it. Um, yeah, it's so amazing. And if you wanted to make all this like animated, you can time it. Whatever, whatever you want to do, you have that option. Um, it is so dope. Um, and you can use it anywhere. Like I said, you can make an ad with it to post on any of your social media platforms. It's amazing. Just if you have the funds and you can, Canva is a wonderful investment for anyone who is on social media um, and you want to be more professional. You're not really good at the editing portion of things. You're not really good at Adobe. Canva is a wonderful thing to utilize it for people who are just not good with those kind of things. People like me. I'm not really good with graphic design. Um... I can build off templates that I already have and just make something new, fresh, and fun. Um, so hopefully this video was informative, um, very short and quick. But I just thought I would share some cool little things that they have. I'll have to make a separate video of the new app features that they have for your phone because it looks 10 times better. I wish I had a picture of the old one that they had um, prior to the new um, platform now. Um, because it's so much better and if I could figure out how to do screen share I wonder if I can share let's see screen where if it's going to show um but definitely it's an amazing amazing platform like I said I love the fact that Canva has come up in the world and I'll post a picture of what Canva app looks like now um, just so you guys can see within this video um, because obviously you know it doesn't want to work for me but it looks so good you know it's so vibrant the pictures still turn out so amazing um, so yeah you can definitely do the content calendar from your phone as well so um, if that's something you want to do, you want to do more things from your phone, you can. Um, no biggie. But yeah, so thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Um, like I said, it's very short and simple, but I want to give you something. Um, little tips and tricks that I learned here and there that I like to share with you guys to make your life easier, my life easier. We're all easier. And like I said, I'm still learning. And as I learn things, I will share with you guys. Um, so thank you guys for staying with me, sticking with me on my YouTube channel. And don't forget to subscribe, leave a comment if you like videos like these. And as always, hit the notification bell so you can get more videos like this in the future. So I love you guys and good night.